This is a totally unique experience. It's really cool. I think the snake likes me. Bam. Tell me something cool. It's all about making engineering fun with magic. Hey, this is Granny Mahara, and I'm really excited because today I'm visiting Carnegie Mellon University. They have one of the top robotics programs in the country. I love robots. I've been building them for over 20 years. They had a fighting robot in uh -huh. BattleBots, Energizer Bunny, R2D2. Carnegie Mellon! Show me your robots! Well, they have a lot of robots in there that are crawling with mouser parts. It's cold out here. Let's go check it out. Marshall Bear. He's the director of the Robotics Institute here at Carnegie Mellon University. And you guys have been on the cutting edge of innovation since when? Uh, from uh, 1978 is when the uh, institute was created. Wow. To hear that some of your work has inspired a movie, is that right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I need to let my colleague uh, Chris Atkinson uh, tell you all about it. Hey, how's it going? Are you Chris? I'm Chris Atkinson, yes. Nice to meet you, Chris. This is the inspiration for Baymax in Big Hero 6. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Is that right? That's right. We're going to get robots into somebody's house. I think we have to make them super safe. Right. In fact, so safe that even if their computer crashes and their brain is dead, all they're going to do is bounce off the person. Right. So we thought for a while there are a lot of ways to do this, but the crazy idea we came up with was let's make them inflatable. So are there any mouser parts in this robot? Yes, a fair number of the electrical components, connectors, things like that we do get from mouser. They're a you know, distributor that has pretty much everything. Grant. Hey Grant, how's it going? I'm Matt Travers. Nice to hey, meet you. Matt. All right, so I've heard about the snake. Tell me a little bit about it. It's to be able to go and get different places. For us, what that means is going and doing visual inspections. We've actually done archaeology previously. We've been oh, in, really? Yeah, we were in <laughs> Egypt uh, right before the revolution, thankfully, yeah. doing archaeology. Go, yeah, going underneath the pyramids, yeah. in fact. What is this platform right here? It's basically a large bed filled with airsoft BBs. And what it's for is to simulate locomotion in granular ma material. If... Oh! <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going well. I'm Grant. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. I'm working on a quad rotor. What we're using them for is building maps of environments and we're using them to explore. You fly it around, it maps the surroundings and can then navigate its own way around. That's correct. We have one quadrotor similar to this one that we're deploying into the Fukushima nuclear reactor. Right, um, where people can't go, but robots can venture. Exactly. So as you can see, Carnegie Mellon has been and continues to be one of the leading innovators in robotics. I'm just glad Mouser could play a part in empowering them. I'm Granny Mahara, and we'll see you next time.